Hello! I'm so glad you could join me today. I had the most wonderful little birthday present from a friend and it was this RX bar, I guess, just like a protein bar, but it's just like a date, kind of like a date bar, layer bar, sugar-free, gluten-free, um, all that free, and I have already made a lot of date bars. So I'm gonna experiment around with this one a little bit and see if I can recreate it because it had this sea salt, crunchy sea salt topping and it was just delectable. So let's see what we can do. The first thing that you need, or you need some dates. I just grabbed mine at Aldi. I love these little things. I, I stock up in these. They only come around in the fall, and they're a seasonal item at Aldi anyway. And so I stock up because they last a year. They're just dried. Soak your dates in some warm water. You just need one cup of dates. Soak them in one water in warm water for no more than five minutes. Oh. You hear my timer? So these have been soaking for five minutes. So let's get them drained. Have our drained dates. I'm gonna pop them in the food processor. I'm going to process these up until they are about the size of a nut. So why the size of a nut you say? Because you can over process dates and then they become gloopy and you don't want a gloopy layer bar, date bar. All right so I'm gonna do equal parts dates and equal parts nuts. So I have a cup of dates and because I was looking on the package and it says it has pecans and cashews, I'm going to put a half a cup of pecans or pecans as my sweet friends in the south say and a half a cup of cashews. A little bit of maple syrup. Now when I looked at the ingredients in the package it said maple water. I don't know what that is. So I'm going to add maple syrup instead. I think I'm just gonna do a tablespoon just because I don't want it to be too gloopy. Gloopy. Pulse it up. Put it on low. Every food processor is going to be different, so just be sure to check it. I can't tell you how long you're going to have to process it. Alright, let's take a look at it and see if it's ready. Um, it's getting pretty close. I like it a little more mixed than that, a little smoother. So let's do just a little bit longer. You need a little bread pan. All right, we're gonna take our saran wrap. Just kind of stretch it over the top. Push it down in there. Take your mixture. it in there a little bit. It is sticky so once I initially get it in there I'll show you what I do because I don't spread the whole thing with the spatula. All right so then I just take the sides. It's mostly even. I take the sides in and then I use that to kind of do a smushy job here. And then I get it nice and flat and even. Oh, I forgot to put the, the sea salt. I'm so used to making these. I didn't even, I totally forgot about the sea salt sprinkle. All right, well, that's not a huge deal. We'll just open it back up. See how pretty it is though? 
nice and flat. All right, so I'm gonna take this coarse salt. Uh, I'm gonna put it in my hand because, you know, you don't wanna over salt stuff. And I'm just gonna sprinkle it on the top. Mmm. Ah, oh, it's like salted caramel kind of, you know? Yum. And then when you're eating it, you've got this nice crunch. Oh, so good. Ready for the fridge. Refrigerate for a little while. If I'm in a rush and I'm trying to take something to like a friend, I'll stick it in the freezer to kind of harden it up. But I'm just gonna leave this in the fridge until after we're ready to eat lunch. All right, we're gonna do a taste test. Nom, nom, nom. All right, let's see here. So they've sat and hardened up a little bit. I'm really interested to see what that sea salt is gonna do. I may use some chunkier sea salt next time. Let's just cut off a little piece. Looks good. Smells good. Mmm. It is really good. The sea salt really makes it. But. I think next time I will use my more coarse salt to you to do it so that there's actual like a crunch when you bite down in it. But these are such a good sugar-free, like whole 30, dairy-free. These were like my treat when I was on whole 30. And yeah, because they're grain free, all that all that free stuff. They're really good. And they also have a lot of fiber in them for those of us who are getting old. <laughs> so keep in the refrigerator. Keep it wrapped up in the refrigerator and you should be good to go. Enjoy. I hope you can make this too. I'll put the recipe down below. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.